Right. So first of all, I understand that we that everybody wants to get back to normal. I understand we want to resume our economic activity. But please, please, I really urge you, don't rush this because if you rush going back to work, if you rush lifting the lockdown and you have a second wave of the infection, then that could be even worse than the first wave. So, and then it's going to cost, you're going to have to go all the way back to the very beginning of your lockdown. So you've invested so much time and effort in your current lockdown. Don't waste that time and effort that you've invested. Keep going with it as much as you possibly can until the end of a 10 week period. If you look at the evidence from Wuhan, Wuhan locked down in the way that China did its lockdown. In other words, very aggressively on January the 23rd. On January the 23rd, they locked down and for 10 weeks until the early part of April, they stayed locked down and they extinguished transmission of the virus. And now they're returning to normal. And all of the epidemiological modeling shows showed that, it, that they needed to stay locked down for around 10 weeks. That's going to be the same in other settings as well, because that's the nature of the virus. The virus spreads. Uh, it's, it's an aggressive virus. It will spread rapidly in a population if you don't physically distance. Well, there are several countries and several companies that are multinational that are building vaccines. I think, in fact, that many of these vaccines will work, will be effective and will prevent disease and may even prevent infection, which is even better. Those companies are, you know, are household names. So it's not it's no trick to find out what they are. And there are many different platforms. Some people are using uh, kill the virus. Some people are using uh, a purely genetic method that results in expression of a protein made by the virus. There are others where they're taking other viruses that are innocuous and modifying them so they insert something that sits on the outside of the virus that looks like the virus that causes COVID. They all seem to target the same region of the SARS coronavirus type 2 that is known as the spike protein which is the one that allows the virus to attach to cells and to cause disease. The earliest um, that many people say a vaccine will be available is 18 months from now. I am more optimistic than, than some of the people who say that. I think we will have something in, in a year or less.